no items, box only, final destination. A long-running meme in the Super Smash Bros. Melee community, born from the character Fox's nearly two-decade-long streak of dominance. To some, Fox is viewed as being so good that not playing him is an intentional handicap. Whether or not you agree with that, it's hard to argue that playing a character other than the narrow selection of top tiers is a display of either ridiculous confidence or foolishness. With this in mind, it makes Pikachu player Axe's legendary performance at EVO 2014 all the more impressive. Pikachu is often considered a mid-tier character at best, struggling in unfavorable matchups with most of the best fighters. Axe seemed to have missed the memo, however, as he managed to battle his way through pools with 2-0 victory after 2-0 victory. His skills were put to the test when faced with Mango, one of the five gods of Melee and the winner of the previous year's EVO Championship. Though Axe ended up losing and getting knocked down to loser's bracket, he played a tight set that went down to the very last stock, leaving quite the impression on both the audience and his opponent. But Mango's baiting out some, you know, the way Mango's playing, though, with the laser. Uh-oh, oh. that might be it. Despite this setback, the Pikachu maestro made it through to the top eight finals by defeating Pluff in a 2-0 blowout. His next opponent was Silent Wolf, yet another powerful Fox player who was consistently ranked in the top 20 melee competitors at the time. The first game started out neck and neck, but Axe managed to pull off an impressive two-stock win by playing around Fox's tricky mobility. Everyone's racing their Pikachus here in this match, yes? Super effective. Oh man, Jeff Keighley. And again, the air dodge. Nice setup. This is ability. a stop. Goes out there. Arizona is screaming right now, and he has the Pikachu in his hand. Raise your Pikachus, everybody. Silent Wolf was undeterred and returned the favor with a two stock of his own in the subsequent round. It was all down to the final game. Whoever lost was going home in eighth place, and momentum was in Silent Wolf's favor. But what no one realized was that the download was complete and the ferocious fox was nothing but putty in Pikachu's stubby little hands. Stadium. Now let's go to Fun of Dreams. FOD was probably banned to avoid the chain grab, and I kind of like the FOD counter pick for Max, because with a player as technical as Silent Wolf, the changing heights of the platforms can really do a lot at messing him up. Potential stock gets the up air tail spike, and zero to death! death. Nice light shield, not even trying to get shield stab as the shields do get really small. And oh. another stock, Pikachu! Pika Pika! Still that 0%. Oh, commentator's curse. We went from trouble. I think, you know, Axe has been a fan of Team Rocket because that trouble doubled extremely quick. The Pikachu chant is humongous here. Oh, oh man. Silent Wolf. We've seen a lot of four stocks on this stage before. But 45 seconds. Silent Wolf might be down to his last stop. Is he going to get it before a minute passes? Well, let's see. He's right near the edge. Oh, my God. Destruction! In what would go down in history as the quickest professional melee set of all time, Axe demolished Silent Wolf. To call it a sandbagging of epic proportions would be an understatement. Wolf might as well have put his controller down and walked away for how helpless he was. Though Axe himself would be sent home by Armada in the very next match, his lightning round made an impression. It became the most talked about moment of EVO 2014, and is still lauded to this day as a modern David and Goliath, the scrappy mid-tier toppling the top-class god in under a minute.